Hi, now I'm going to talk about artificial intelligence. History. The dream of creating intelligent machines began with the ancient Greeks, but it was not until the 20th century that we approached the goal. Of course, it was computer technology that helped us make this possible. The goal of artificial intelligence was not to create something that challenged what the human brain could do, but to create systems that worked according to some of the same principles. These systems must not be bound by a programmer writing the program completely, but that the system can learn itself, like it provides its own knowledge and it must be adaptive. The inspiration for such systems comes naturally from biology and how evolution adapts organisms to changing environments. They are also inspired by how the human brain processes information. Challenges. The first up is privacy. Norway is far ahead in terms of the amount of data we have access to, but artificial intelligence means that we may lack privacy. They have learned algorithms that can find out everything about you in milliseconds. This can be uncomfortable and is a daily challenge. The second challenge is that power consumption will increase sharply. It takes a lot of electricity to train a machine. Training models can require as much energy and emit as much carbon dioxide as several car cars do through their lifetime. It is also not particularly sustainable, but efforts are constantly me being made to reduce consumption. Benefits The advantage of artificial intelligence is that it has the ability to receive and process huge amounts of data. In addition, you eliminate the possibility of human error and it can work all day. It does not need breaks as we do, so that means you have time to do other important work. Philosophy. What is artificial intelligence? Intelligence is the mental ability to understand context which everyone is born with. Intelligence is usually considered the ability to learn, to reason, to plan, to solve problems, to think critically and abstractly, to ask questions while being able to understand ideas, languages and complicated causal relationships. Ethics. Is it okay to replace working people with machines? Personally, I don't think so. I think we need to explore more on how it works and whether it is wise to replace the working people with machines. We don't know yet if the existing machines are smarter than our human brain and that's why we need to explore more. It is risky if many people lose their jobs because it can lead to poverty and depression. Examples from popular culture we can find examples of artificial intelligence almost every day. Most people use services like Google, Netflix, and Spotify every day. Services like Spotify and Netflix use artificial intelligence to tailor music and movie recommendations to their customers. They base their recommendations on your past viewing habits. You may have seen this type of message while listening to music. Do you listen to the artist Lord? Maybe you also like Willow. It's artificial intelligence that shows you music based on what you've listened to before. The same thing with Netflix. Did you watch the documentary series Wild Wild Country? Maybe you also like Going Clear, Scientology and The Prisoner of Belief. A machine interprets the probability of how much you will like a similar series or movie.